Naomi, Ruth clung to Naomi. I mean, this is a way of expressing her loyalty and affection toward Naomi, but also to her God. Verse 16 says, But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death separates you and me. Wow. <laughs> That's loyalty, right? Wow. What a commitment. The decision that Ruth made gave her a new life. Ruth says, where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Ruth illustrates for us the, the person that says yes to Jesus Christ and the opportunity to come to know Him. She illustrates a person leaving the old way of life, coming into a new way of life, a new way of doing things. She is leaving the old behind. She is leaving the old land, the old lifestyle, the land of idolatry, for a new way of living. Her decision brought her into a new life, a new way. <laughs> we also see her decision gave her a new God. She says, your people will be my people, and your God my God. She's leaving the old gods behind, right? <laughs> Her old idolatrous pagan gods, if you will. While in the land of Moab, Ruth probably worshipped the false idols and the false gods of Moab, right? She probably did. She didn't know any different. She was raised to believe this, right? And again, we see the importance of Parents raising their children in the way that they should go, right? And what to believe. For most of her life, she probably knew nothing else or nothing about the one and true living God. She was probably raised to believe, again, the pagan gods, the pagan customs, the rituals, and everything else that she went through. Now she has a new Lord, a God, a new God to live for. Her life is now centered around the God of Israel and His people. Finally, we see her decision gave her new loyalty. Ruth says, where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. Wow. <laughs> May the Lord deal with me, ever, be it ever so severely, if anything but that separates you and me. Ah. Ruth is saying, this decision is the for the rest of my life. Until I die. Nothing's going to separate us. She had no desire to go back to Moab. She had no desire to go back to the old way of life or the old lifestyle. She had no plans to return. Her newfound loyalty was one of total commitment and affection to the new God in her life. The question is, why would she ever want to go back to that old way? <laughs> That's the point we need to ask ourselves today. Why, do we want, why would we want to go away from God, back to the old way of creating more problems for ourselves? <laughs> well, we shouldn't. <laughs> for her, there would be nothing but a life of hopelessness and emptiness. <laughs> Each of us can find ourselves in one of these widows. What kind of testimony are you giving today? Are you like Naomi, one that is obstructing the message of God? Are you like Orpah, one that is departing from the faith and going back into the old ways of life before you came to know 
Jesus Christ and converted to Christianity? Or are you like Ruth? One that is leading a life that demonstrates a new life and a changed life or a changed person. <coughs> are you living a life of loyalty to God and clinging to Him? The question I leave you today is, what kind of testimony do you have? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God Almighty, again, thank you for the opportunity to come here to study your word. I ask and pray that you bless each and every one of us here today and help us to have the testimony that would be uh, one that glorifies your name in our lives so that others may be drawn to us through the love that you have placed in our heart, but also drawn to you because you are the one that can change our lives, give us direction, give us purpose. We thank you again for the opportunity to study this word. And we ask that you bless each one of us here today. Hopefully we are encouraged to live a life that um, brings glory to your name. And this I pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.